Hey guys, it's Elisa, and today I have my December book haul. I have accumulated a lot of books in the month of December because of Christmas, so I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what I went ahead and got for Christmas. The majority of it all came from gift cards that were given to me that I went ahead and bought the books myself. So yes, there's quite a few, so I'm just going to jump right into it. The first book is The Rising by Kelly Armstrong. This is the third book in the Dark Powers trilogy. I have read half of Kelly Armstrong's adult series called The Other World Women. I know that one of the, the first books, Bitten, is being made into a show on sci-fi, so I can't wait for that. I have read, this is her second, if I'm not mistaken, it is her second young adult spinoff, which takes place in that whole world and everything. And I have not read book one, two, and three in this one. I have read the previous Young Adult and I enjoyed it truly. I was just waiting until I went ahead and got this book to go ahead and get it. There's a lot of supernatural elements that take place. So there is werewolves and there is necromancy and there's magic kind of with, um, I guess, witchcraft is what it would have to be, but there's also like another name for the guy version of it, which I can't remember. It's been a while since I read it, but yes, can't wait to get into it. The next book is Rape Girl by Elena Klein. This is a recommendation that was made to me by a friend. It is a very small book. It is basically about a girl who gets raped and kind of the aftermath about it, basically her word against his and how everybody hates her for it so it's kind of that take of what's going on i know that in the story the family becomes closer and stronger just because of the rest of the society kind of blaming her for it for what happened to her so very interesting so i went ahead and picked it up the next book is mystique by allison noel this is the third book in the soul seeker series i had realized i think last month if i'm not mistaken that i did not have book three so i did go ahead and find it i can't wait to read it the next book that i have is the eternity cure by jilly kagawa this is the second book in the blood of eden series trilogy saga not too sure what it's gonna be I do own the first one. I hate that my covers don't match. I'm tempted to find or purchase it in hardback and give my other one away, but I'm trying to cut down on doing that, but this consists of vampires. If you guys have read the series yet, let me know if it's good. Maybe I'll push it to the front of my reading list. The next book that I went ahead and purchased with my gift card was Teardrop by Lauren Kate. I loved her Fallen series, so when this new book came out, I wanted to pick it up by her. And the story sounded very interesting. It's about a girl named Eureka, who her mother drills in her head that she can never cry at all. And then when her mother passes away from a freak drowning accident, <laughs> There's this guy that shows up and knows things that he shouldn't know, and every time he gets near her, he makes her want to cry more than anything in the world, and she's left with this, like, really weird her her inheritance? Inheritance? Yes. <laughs> with a really weird inheritance. It's like a, a stone and a book and a letter, um, but the book has a really weird story about a girl who, from a broken heart, like with her tears crying and crying and crying, like drowned a whole continent or something like that. There's this little piece where it says, from Lauren Kate comes an epic saga of heart-stopping romance, devastating secrets, and dark magic. A world where everything you love can be washed away. So it's not a very interesting. I had the gift card. I even had a coupon, so it was like really, really cheap. The next book that I was really excited for in the month of December that I could not wait to purchase, and I hate myself that I have not read it yet, but next year, in the month of January, I hope to get to it, and that book is A Beautiful Wedding by Jamie McGuire. This is set in the beautiful disaster world. It is obviously about Abby and Travis's wedding and I can't wait to get into it and I think this book is so pretty. I took a bunch of pictures and I put them on Instagram like I like the cover and then the inside it's, like, it's not a big book but what I love are the butterflies. 
I think it's super cute and it has it like at the end too. The next three books that I'm going to show you are part of one of my favorite theories. I've talked about it a bunch in a bunch of videos and I'm going to try not to do that in this video. I'm just going to kind of show them off. So the first book is A Dark Lover by J.R. Ward. This is the first book in the Black Dagger Brotherhood series. I do own book two and three and I've showed those in previous book hauls. Book four, which is Lover Revealed. The next book is Lover Unbound by J.R. Ward, of course. And this one follows V. I know V is one of my best book soulmate friend Yvette's favorite. And I have a copy. The next book was a gift that was given to me by my best friend Yvette. And that is Harper's Bazaar Fashion. Your Guide to Personal Style by Lisa Armstrong, and we like, by we, like me and Yvette, we like our fashion, we like our makeup, we like our girly stuff, and I don't really like this cover, she doesn't like it either, and this is, I think, the first time that I want to get rid of a jacket of a book, because I think this is so much prettier, I love the gold. It's like super kind of shiny and it just has like different it has kind of like these pictures and it goes through it has quotes of different fashion and how to find your look the art of shopping mm, beauty factor so I'll show you different things I'll also show you like designers so I thought it was really cool that she gave this to me. The next books I'm going to go ahead and show you are ebooks that I purchased with the gift cards that I did go ahead and receive. And one of them is a late birthday present that was given to me as an ebook that I'm going to go ahead and show you. The first one is the late birthday present that was given to me by my best friend, George. And that book is called The Novel Cure. From Abandonment to Zealousness, 751 Books to Cure What Ails You by Ella Berthode. I don't know if I'm saying that right, and Susan Eldrickin. Sorry. Basically, what it is, it's kind of like an encyclopedia. That's kind of what I got out of it. And when you, well, I guess I can kind of show you. So, what you basically do is it gives you an introduction, what it is, it says it's like a bibliotherapy, the prescribing of fiction for life's ailments. So let's say that, I guess kind of like a medical book, I don't know. Let's say that I have some problem with, okay, let's not say problem. Let's say I have a problem with boredom. Let's say I'm bored. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and look for boredom or bored. I think it's boredom. Hold on. Still on the A's here. Okay. So, like, boredom. I don't know if you can see it. It says boredom. And then I'll tell you, if you're suffering from boredom, whether you live in London and Shanghai or somewhere else, like, you'll tell me to read Desperate Characters by Paula Fox. And then it kind of gives you a description of what, like, kind of a synopsis of what the book is about. No, I should say it gives you kind of like a summary. Because it'll tell you, like, a summary of the book, and then it tells you, like, why you want to read it. And it's not just things like that. Like, there's one here that says, like, like a broken leg. Like, there at the bottom. And it tells me to read Cleave by Nikki Gamel. It's cute. I like it. Like, there's new books that this little encyclopedia thing can show me, so great. After that, I went ahead and got The Longest Night, a Drake Chronicles novel by Alexandra Harvey. I enjoy the Drake Chronicles. It's one of my favorite vampire stories. It's just so easy to read, and I love their take on it. I love that they have, like, this human aspect of it, aspect to it. I love the brothers. Like, basically, the Drakes are a family that are vampires. There's the mother, the father. There's, like, I haven't read it in a while. I think there's, like, four brothers. 
four or five brothers and then the sister and like she's the baby so can you just imagine having all these older brothers like trying to protect her and she doesn't become a vampire until or all of them don't become vampires until they're like 16 something like that something with like puberty so it's a very interesting concept i love how other characters have evolved and and have joined the story i have left off on i want to say book four or five and i think and there's only like seven and i want to get to it and especially with the longest night it takes place after all of the books so i was reading the synopsis of this little like novella and it kind of i kind of like a cheat like <laughs> i kind of know who's still together or who got back together and stuff like that so i'm super intrigued like i want to jump into that series right away the next book that i went ahead and got was one of the ones that i was anticipating for the month of december and i am super happy that it's already out i have been putting off reading it just because i'm kind of like oh i don't want it to end which is kind of silly because i can always reread the stories but that book is falling by ek blair and i have loved her other two stories fading and freeing and i can't wait to jump back into this world and figure out find out what ryan's side of his story is like what made him who he was there was things that happened in feeding that we found out from his mother that kind of molded ryan to be who he is so i'm really intrigued on what happened in in those time frame of like growing up i know a lot of it had to do with his dad who is non-existent in the time frame where we're getting to know him and candace so yeah the next two books that I got was Saving Rafael Santiago by Cassandra Clare. This is part of the Bane Chronicles, and I also got the other one, The Falling of Hotel du Mort, as well. And I know I've been trying to read them, and I just haven't gotten to it, because I feel like I need to read, I need to finish The Infernal Devices before I can read The Bane Chronicles, and I don't even know if that's true or not. I just feel like it is and I don't want to ruin anything for myself so that's why I'm just gonna go ahead and wait off and, until I finally dig into finishing the infernal devices the next book that I went and got was trust in me by Jay Lynn who we all know is Jennifer L Armentrout I still have not got into reading these books um, trust in me is part of the waiting for you world so once I get into that I'll go ahead and read this but so far, anything that I've read by Jennifer L. Omrentrout, I have fallen for, so I am not worried about not liking this book, so, yeah. The next book is First Ink by Laura Wright, and I also got Shattered Ink by Laura Wright. These two books, I just recently finished them, like, yesterday, and they are, like, a new adult series about Rush and Addison. Addison broke Rush's heart at a very young age and her trying to get him back and Rush at this point in their lives are like 22, 23. He is a very famous tattoo artist where he has waiting lists that are like years long and famous actors and actresses that want to get tattooed by him and I enjoyed it. It was a really quick read and I'll talk about that more on my wrap up. <laughs> that is my december book haul i hope you guys enjoyed it if you read any of the books that i've mentioned leave it in the comments down below or if you guys want me to read any of the books i just mentioned or you want me to do a review for them just leave it in the comments down below and by all means i'll do that as well you guys have a great day and i hope you got all the books you wanted this holiday season talk to you soon bye